Hi, Hi, everybody. It is Amethyst Mahoney with the Heart and Soul uh, Academy and also the Divine Love Oracle deck. And today I'm going to be talking to Mary Oquindo about her card, the Connect card. Hi, Mary. Hey, Amethyst. How's it going? Good. Thank you for being here today. Very so good. I had... I had pulled up your bio and all of that. And of course, um, after I moved rooms and everything, I pulled it down. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself and where people can find out more about you? Hi, well, um, I kind of straddle like two different industries. On one side, I'm in the pet industry. I am um, a speaker, a blogger, a journalist for the professional pet grooming industry. And then on the other side of the coin, um, I'm an energetic practitioner. I do Reiki and crystal therapy, primarily on animals. You know, sometimes sometimes people, but you know, animals are always so much better. And yeah, I don't I don't really see it as two different industries. I mean, the main things that I know you from are the crystals with the pets and the energy healing with the pets. And um, I know you do a lot of stuff in the energy field and in the pet field, but um, I think primarily where I know you from is. Uh, like the crystals with pets and things like that, where you've actually combined everything into one really cool business that nobody else out there really does. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's what I love to do. I love working with the animals. Um, and if anybody wants to either connect with me, uh, the, probably the easiest way to do it is through my website, which is marioquendo.com. Um, I also have a, a podcast that we do every other week. I, I do it with a friend of mine, uh, Laura. And it's called the Woo Woo Girl's Guide to Infinite Wisdom. And we just throw just a lot of stuff out there. It's, 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 it's pretty fun. And that's Molly in the background in case you can hear her. <laughs> okay. And you can type in your, um, your email address down in the comments. And that'll actually show up for people who are listening live and people who are watching the replay. Um, another tip, because a lot of people are, there you go, it showed up. For a lot of people who are new to Blab, you can actually hit the tell a little bird button on the left hand side of the page. And when you do that, it will actually tweet this broadcast out to Twitter so that people can find it and people can connect and find out more about Mary. So today we're gonna to be talking about Mary created the connect card for the Divine Love Oracle deck. And if you haven't gotten your deck yet, you can go over to the Indiegogo campaign. It is at bit.ly slash divine oracle all lowercase all one word and if you get your deck during the indiegogo campaign where we need 333 sponsors to um, get the deck at the 33 dollars level or above that's called our angel sponsorship you'll get a unique angel pin and it, you'll also get an invitation to a private class in january where <laughs> Your dog's really excited about all this. <laughs> and that's, by the way, the model who's barking. <laughs> where you will get a class in January where we'll look at clearing the deck, setting your intentions and energy of the cards, learning how to use the cards, and also... Um, you know I'm just going to close the door. Okay. I'll have some people in the hot seat so that you can actually get a free uh, reading with me from the Divine Love Oracle right there on the class in January on the call. So be sure to pick up your deck. Now, Mary is going to show her card that she created for the Divine Love Oracle deck and tell us a little bit about her inspiration with that and how that Connect card, um, you know, fits in with the Divine Love Oracle deck. So go ahead, Mary, show us your... So here's the card again. And the one in the background... That's the model right there, who's probably very, very excited that we're about to talk about him. Um, <laughs> his name is Spirit, and Spirit refers to himself when he talks to other communicators as the White Wolf. So that's how he, how he personally sees himself. Um, anyway, the connection card. For me personally, my connection is all about the animals. And it's not the animals, it's also the connection to the planet that we live in. You know, it's, it's, it's where we live. It's, it's our home. So when I decided to put the card together, the first two things I decided on was, was colors. And the pink and the green, um, which comes from the heart. So they both represent the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. So I, I picked up some, some this really nice green uh, uh, pink paper, and I got out my green 
coloring pencils because, you know, I have my coloring books and I got a nice stack of colored pencils. <laughs> right. Did you get those and, from Kama or is that your own thing? No, those were from Amazon. I got, I haven't even gotten my deck from, <laughs> and I'm sorry I bought the smaller package because the next time I order my pencils from Amazon, it's going to be like the 180 count box of pencils. <laughs> I find I need about, I don't know, 40 shades of green is, will probably be, be sufficient for me. <laughs> when, I, when I decided to do the card, and I really honestly don't know what possessed me to do it because I've never done anything like this before in my life. Um, and didn't really consider myself an artist until I created this. So I'm pretty excited about it. But I decided to paint for the background and the, 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 the tree is green. So again, that represents both the heart and the branches are extending upwards to the heavens and downwards into the earth. Mm -hmm. So that's a connection to the heavens and our connection to the earth. And the heart and the dog, well, actually, it's not a dog. That's a white wolf. So that, that's a, <laughs> not to be confused that that is not a dog. Is also my connection for my love of the animals and, and the animals that inhabit our, our, our planet. And needed to add just a little bit more to it and so i might also have a very strong connection with crystals so that's where the little purple diamonds mm -hmm. those are our fluorites and fluorite is a crystal for clarity it's, it's also a higher vibrational stone too so in addition to being the clarity it helps you connect to the heavens and i put them also down at the roots as well because there's a lot of knowledge and clarity that we can receive if we connect to the earth, if we take the time to ground ourselves. And when I put the diamonds in there, you'll notice there's eight of them. There's five up on top and that there's three down at the bottom. And the eight is representative of infinity. So it mm -hmm. just goes and goes and goes and goes. So everything is always connected. It, is, it will always be connected. There's... We can't do one thing without the other. We have to have a connection. So this is my this is my connection card. Nice. So you're using that card to connect with not the earth, with the spirit animals, with the crystals, um, with divine love. And what what do you think is one of the ways that people who are getting the deck and who draw your card can use that in order to bring that connection more into their life? What would you like to have them do with that? Well, if they pull the connection card from themselves, I think it's an opportunity to take a look at where, A, your connections are, and not only where your connections are, maybe where your connections are not, and where you need to strengthen those connections. Mm. So if you find yourself um, being, you know, just 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 nuts, you know, the holidays are coming up, so we're all going to be stressed and... and, and no, we're not. No, I am going to Jamaica for the holidays. The rest of you guys can be stressed. <laughs> you know, as, 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 a groom, as a groomer, that is the, the, the busiest time of the year for us. Mm. So it's absolutely insane until, until New Year's Eve. However, mm. maybe not so much for me because I'm getting a new van. And my old van is, is I, might be, I might have an extended vacation until the, vaca the new one comes, but whatever. <clears throat> anyway, but it's the time of year for many of us, we're going to be, you know, stressed. So if we're pulling the connection card, we may want, you may want to stop and think, maybe I should, maybe I should ground myself. Mm. Maybe I should meditate. Uh, maybe I should give my dog a hug. Mm -hmm. You know, something to, to give us and remember that it is, we're, we're not alone, that there's this entire world that is around us. And to remember that connections are there. And um, even, even the heart here, can be very can be symbolic of just somebody you love, could be a family member. So just remember that there's you there are connections. We are not alone. We need to have a connection to somebody, whether it's an animal, whether it's somebody we love. Um, we need also need a connection to the to to the divine as well as you know to Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Hi Chantal, thank you for joining us. Oh, she may have popped out. Um, so when you are looking at uh, this connection to, you know, you talked a lot about other other people, animals, um, divine spirit and everything. What would you say about someone who's feeling disconnected to themselves? What are some ways that they can kind of reconnect and, you know, get more in touch with 
with who they really are. Because I think a big part of this deck, besides the fact that it's about connecting with, you know, your version of a higher power is also about bringing that energy in and connecting with it inside of you so that you can, you know, be really aligned with, with who you are and not who maybe other people have told you you're supposed to be. And so how do you kind of clear away that chatter and get connected with, you know, your true self and, and you? Well, you know, that's exactly what I went through when I, when I designed the card in the first place, because, you know, I was sitting here telling myself, I couldn't understand why, why I had agreed to do it in the first place. Because I, <laughs> I, I was pretty quick with it too. Wasn't I, wasn't I like the first person that said, yeah, I'll do this? Yeah, one of the <clears> first people. <laughs> I was like, yay, I got one. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, I could, you know, but that was, that was my fear, you know, saying, you know what? And it's not that I don't consider myself creative. I consider myself very, very creative. Uh, but I never consider myself an artist. Mm -hmm. Draw up, ooh, no, not me. But sometimes it is, it's, it's, you got to stop the chatter in your head. Mm -hmm. and, and part of the, the connection is, and I, and I, one of the biggest two things that I'm really a huge proponent of is people either taking the time to meditate or to ground or to do both because mm -hmm. that quiet time, and it could be just really your choice that that quiet time that you are able to connect yourself to something solid and grounding is, is, is as solid as you get. So you can have a chance to sort of like reconnect yourself so that the parts that are like floating all around up you by, by taking the time to connect to the earth, you know, give your, your, your soul a chance to anchor itself back into your body. Mm -hmm. And do you have a good kind of exercise or meditation or something like maybe a one minute or less thing that you could, um, if someone's watching this and they're like, well, grounding, I don't even know what that is. Like my, my favorite way of grounding is well it's going to be a little tougher to do it now it's starting to get colder but i will walk barefoot out to get the paper get my paper sit down at the bottom of the stairs and just read my paper with a cup of coffee and that is five minutes um we are heading into winter so yeah. i probably <laughs> will be doing a little less of that uh but there's lots of ways you can you can ground and i do ground a lot with with crystals um, some of the, the brown, any brown stone, and, or any red stone, too, for that matter. Mm -hmm. So the red jaspers, the smoky quartzes. Um, in the wintertime, if I'm starting to feel that little disconnect, I'll take two smoky quartz, put them in my socks, and I'll sleep with them at night so that the smoky quartz is up against my feet. Mm -hmm. So I kind of will caution you that to remember that they're in your socks when you get up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be like stepping on Legos, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you definitely want to use a tumble. You definitely don't want raw pieces of smoky quartz in your foot. Yeah, because that, that's, like, that's a trip to the emergency room then for the laceration that's at the bottom of your foot. <laughs> so those are probably two of the easiest way to do it. Uh, meditations are, can also help to ground as well, too. Mm -hmm. There's lots. Of, I mean, just go to YouTube. Oh, in fact, I'm going to take that back. Go to my, the Woo Woo Girls, I'm gonna type that in. Yeah. The, um, yeah. the, the radio, our radio uh, website, the Woo Woo Girls Guide to Infinite Wisdom.com. And if you go under the tab, listen to us, mm -hmm. there is a, first of all, all of our podcasts are there. But the very first one is we have a meditation it's a chakra balancing meditation. And we oh, you can download. You oh, there you go. Forget YouTube. <laughs> you know, or my website. There you go. Excellent. So um, thank you for telling us all about, you know, ways to ground, ways to connect, and a really great explanation of your card. I love that, that you, you know, you had the picture. And, and I didn't even notice there were eight crystals. And, of course, I thought they were amethyst, but that's well, okay that they're not. Uh, <laughs> They could be amethyst if you want. I'll still tell my husband they are. So um, any last thing that you want to tell anyone about um, you or connection or uh, You know what? I'm really excited about this deck of cards. I've had an opportunity to see some of the cards 
And I, I can't wait for my deck. I've already ordered mine. Yay! Me, me too. <laughs> Excellent. So if you want to get your deck, you can find it over on the Indiegogo campaign at bit.ly slash divine oracle, all lowercase, all one word. And it is over in the comment section over there. Um, and there will be more pictures of the deck, more uh more comments, more things going on every single day this month. I'm doing interviews with card creators and I'll be putting a new card up on the page um, every couple of days for the Indiegogo campaign. So be sure to get yours. Thank you so much, Mary. Thanks for creating a card. Um, also, because I'm not an artist, this, this is one of those things where I wanted to create an Oracle deck um, I knew I couldn't draw the pictures of myself. And so that's what I did is I connected with my own community in order to make it happen. So, um, you know, just like we're talking about connecting today is you can get so much more done when you work with one another and when you, you know, lean on each other to fill in those gaps of things that, you know, maybe you could do might take, you know, on average, it takes a deck like this 18 months to get created and our community has put it together in one month one we are awesome <laughs> yes we, we we are most awesome aren't we <laughs> yeah so be sure and the cards are excellent i mean they're just they're just amazing so be sure to get your deck and thank you so much mary for being here today and i will see all of you guys in the indiegogo campaign bye, bye.